Bill Maher's bold acknowledgement of the gravity of abortion aligns with conservative principles that place paramount importance on the sanctity of life. Europe, for example, by comparison to the 60 countries of Europe, actually there are many countries in Europe where it's completely illegal to have an abortion. Poland, Malta, you know, places like Andorra, you know, so, uh, and if you look at Germany and France and countries like that, it can be 10, 12 weeks is the term limit that you're allowed to have an abortion legally. So America is not such an outlier. It does go to the States. I think a lot of Americans on the left do think that this is somehow a really unique American problem or an issue that only pertains to them in terms of the legality of abortions. Actually, comparative to Europe, it's not massively dissimilar. But the thing that's crazy is at a time when America is facing so many huge geopolitical threats, um, where there's a huge tech revolution going on, where the economy is faced with all kinds of challenges, the idea that you're fighting an election around this issue um, seems to be, you know, just strange. Back to the 19th century. Not if you believe it's murder. You know, that's why I don't understand the 15-week thing. Or the Trump's plan is, let's leave it to the states. You mean, so killing babies is okay in some states? Like, I can respect the, the absolutist position. I really can. I, I, I scold the left on when they say, oh, you know what? They just hate women. People who aren't pro-life, they, they're pro-choice. They just, they don't hate women. They just made that up. They think it's murder. And it kind of is. I'm just okay with that. I am. I, I mean, there's 8 billion people in the world. I'm sorry, we won't miss you. That's my position on that. what? That's quite harsh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not is sure that not get your much. position if you're pro-choice? Isn't that mainly because you don't like children? I mean, yeah, exactly. no, no. I mean, but if you are, if you said you're pro-choice, mm. that's your position too. Mm. Observers perceive Mayer's statements as a departure from the conventional liberal rhetoric that tends to trivialize the ethical significance of abortion. The genuineness of Bill Maher's stance on abortion underscores the alignment of personal values and convictions. It prompts contemplation on how Maher's forthrightness reflects a readiness to confront dilemmas and grapple with moral intricacies. Piers Morgan's exploration of abortion legislation, contrasting the approaches in the United States and Europe, offers diverse viewpoints on the subject by challenging the notion of American exceptionalism in abortion policy. Morgan prompts a nuanced understanding of global perspectives on reproductive rights. The diverse regulations across nations underscore the complexities surrounding individual autonomy, choice, and moral accountability. Cultural and societal norms further complicate the discourse on abortion and reproductive freedoms. I concur with Bill Maher's critique of elevating abortion to a geopolitical priority, particularly through the lens of conservative ideologies that prioritize national security and economic stability over social matters. Maher's remarks serve as a rebuke to the left's preoccupation with identity politics and moral quandaries, sometimes overshadowing broader geopolitical concerns. This highlights the repercussions of prioritizing moral debates over pressing geopolitical challenges. In navigating a complex and interconnected world, it becomes imperative to evaluate the competing priorities and moral imperatives of individuals.